CNN has denied a report that host Don Lemon has been benched over the sexist comments that he made previously, though he will not be hosting this Monday morning as a direct result of what he had to say about Nikki Haley's age and whether she's in her prime. That's according to the Daily Beast. Mediaite reports that CNN is denying that report. The Daily Beast's Lachlan Cartwright writes that CNN changed its Monday lineup to proceed without Lemon while conversations about his future are ongoing. Mm, according to CNN Insider, Don Lemon is taking a holiday and will return on air depending on where his head is at. Lemon wrote last week, the reference I made to a woman's prime this morning was inartful and irrelevant, as colleagues and loved ones have pointed out, and I regret it. A woman's age doesn't define her either personally or professionally. I have countless women in my life who prove that every day. And as a reminder, here's part of that clip. This whole talk about age makes me uncomfortable. I think that I think it's the wrong road to go down. She says people, you know, politicians or something are not in their prime. Nikki Haley isn't in her prime. Sorry. When a woman is considered to be in her prime in her 20s and 30s and maybe 40s. What do you that's talk? Not Wait. I, that's not according to me. Prime so for what? I, it depends. I mean, it's just like prime. If you look it up, it'll say, if you look, if you Google when is a woman in her prime, it'll say 20s, 30s and 40s. I don't necessarily. 40s. Oh, I got another I'm not saying decade. I agree with that. So I think she has to be careful about saying that, well, you know, politicians aren't in their prime. You need, they need to qualify. To are you talking about prime for, like, child yeah, but bearing? You, you or are you don't talking shoot about the message prime just for being say president? what the facts are. Google it. Everybody at home, when is a woman in her prime? It says 20s, 30s, and 40s. And I'm just saying Nikki Haley should be careful about saying that politicians are not in their prime. And they need to be in their prime when they serve. Because she wouldn't be in her prime, according to Google, you know, Google or whatever it is. Look, Google, it just gets better and better. Google it. A woman is in her prime when she's 3.14159. <laughs> that is the exact mathematical age that a woman is fit for the presidency. <laughs> right. or, I mean, he was going off childbirth, which is... It was, I mean, we, it was So we wild. bashed the, uh, this whole thing last week. You should watch that. But let's go ahead and do it again because <laughs> it's really funny. I mean, look, th this, this story about, you know, denying that there are these kind of professional consequences at the same time that he's obviously taking a holiday and he's not there today. And mm -hmm. then the rejoinder to the accusation that, you know, there are conversations about his future being that he's, you know, going to come back when we see where his head's at. I mean, it kind of sounded more like an admission than a, a denial, frankly. But there are internal conversations happening about what to do with Don Lemon with good cause. Because remember, this is a new shit for him to ha having moved from the mm -hmm. night format to the morning format. Um, we covered his, uh, you know, He's taking it so well. And, and look, there is clear fit issues. Yeah. Um, CNN, a lot of the mainstream uh, media are struggling with how to appeal to an audience that seems to be wanting something different that's fleeing to online shows and also a large part of the liberal audience is watching fox news increasingly and uh i don't know that don lemon is the solution he sh in, in fact he shamed caitlin collins one of his uh his co-hosts um who you know we don't know if she's in her prime she's all of like 27 or something i don't know how old she is um but uh, she was doing a great interview with representative james comer about uh, how the new Republican House uh, uh, majority is going to look into uh, the, the deep state nefariousness, the Hunter Biden, all that stuff we're curious about. And uh, it was, but it, it was a hard interview. She pushed back on some of it. She's saying, well, we haven't found the there there for Biden's involvement, for President Biden versus Hunter Biden, et cetera. And then after that interview, he, Don Lemon, you know, Poppy Harlow, trying to say, thanks, good job, Caitlin Collins, let's go to break now. And Don Lemon, like, no, stop, just stop. Don't, don't you dare go to break. We, I have to condemn <laughs> even having to let you hear re what Republicans are saying. It is, I can't believe we're living in a time where we freely interview Republicans. Like she'd done something wrong. And I think you're right to bring up that incident in the context of this incident, because I think they both come from an unwillingness to engage with any opinions, much less criticism, but any mm -hmm. anything that's coming from the right as in good faith. So in, in this context, they were having a conversation about whether or not Joe Biden's age should be a factor uh, as people consider who they want to support, either in a Democratic primary context or, generally speaking, in a general election. Nikki Haley is obviously putting herself out there as someone who is much younger than many of the other people in contention, including Donald mm -hmm. Trump and Joe Biden. These are facts. If you can't 
acknowledge that there might be some legitimacy to a voter being curious whether or not Joe Biden has stamina, curious as to whether or not, the, you know, what the consequences of Kamala Harris having to become president and instead would be, whether or not she could actually beat the Republican candidate, what that means for the fate of the Democratic Party. If you can't honestly engage yes. with the idea that those are legitimate concerns, you are going to get to a place where you're saying, well, uh, Nikki Haley's no spring chicken either. She's past her prime. Which the, the current average age, and we bring this up a lot, but the average age of the people in, in government now is historically yeah. an anomalously old. And look, and that is an issue that you're not crazy to wonder whether uh, some of the people in the Senate who are holding hearings on complicated tech and security issues, uh, who are not capable of understanding it, frankly, uh, because of their age, whether that's a good thing. This is not, <laughs> we, we, are, we are being ruled by historical standards by an unusually older crowd of people. I'm not saying that's always inappropriate or that the, the, uh, there should be like a cutoff age or something. Or that but Nikki Haley is particularly technically adept <laughs> or knowledgeable right, but about it is Twitter something, Instagram. But it is something to be, to be be concerned about. Yeah. Look, there's plenty to criticize Nikki Haley on if he wants to be critical of Republican candidates. Mm -hmm. It is just so odd. No, that he's affronted by the idea you would even have to hear what they have to say. Right. That's, exactly. not, some, that's not something that they do there on the Don Lemon morning show, I guess. I or guess. that's what he doesn't want it to be. Yeah. Well, a decade ago, here's what he was saying on CNN. Let's watch. Because black people, if you really want to fix the problem, here's just five things that you should think about doing. Here's number five, and if, if, if this doesn't apply to you, if you're not doing this, then it doesn't apply to you. I'm not talking about you. Here's number five, pull up your pants. Walking around with your ass and your underwear showing is not okay. In fact, it comes from prison when they take away belts from the prisoner so that they can't make a weapon. And then it evolved into which role a prisoner would have during male-on-male -male prison sex. The one with the really low pants is a submissive one. You get my point? Number four now, is the N-word. By promoting the use of that word when it's not germane to the conversation, have you ever considered that you may just be perpetuating the stereotype the master intended, acting like a Now number three, respect where you live. Start small by not dropping trash, littering in your own communities. I've lived in several predominantly white neighborhoods in my life. I rarely, if ever, witness people littering. I live in Harlem now, it's an historically black neighborhood. Every single day I see adults and children dropping their trash on the ground when a garbage can is just feet away. Just being honest here. Uh, my favorite part there is the sheer volume of white people sagging their pants and the B-roll of people sagging their pants. Maybe they're just trying to communicate to their prison roommates <laughs> who's gonna be involved in what. It's so odd for an openly, I mean, I don't know if he was openly gay at the time, but an openly gay host to be somehow like, you know, queer shaming uh, people into pulling up their pants, saying that you, if you do this, then you're I mean, at the it, bottom. It's it, it was re remarkably, um, it, it, it was based by, by uh, Don Lemon standards. They sound like he was auditioning for a, for a gig on Fox or something. Yeah, and to that point, Glenn Greenwald tweeted, the reason Don Lemon said all that is because uh, these points in the Obama years were the popular views in elite circles. As soon as they became prohibited and it became required to say the opposite, Lemon did a 180. This is how the vast majority of people in media function. Do you think that's true? I think that's right. There was a lot of this kind of social conservatism. Respectability um, politics. Exactly. The, the kind of Bill Cosby line yeah. of uh, attack didn't Obama work would out so well for Bill Cosby. He absolutely would. And I think uh, there were a lot of black people at the time that were frustrated with it, but there was this feeling that you kind of had to limit your critiques of Barack Obama um, and that he had to perform in a certain way to make it in a media environment that was hostile and racist against him. So I think there was a lot, a big step back uh, that a lot of um, black mm -hmm. activist groups, um, social interest groups took because they were running cover, frankly, for Obama, and they maybe are regretting that now. But Don Lemon was is is a is an elite. He is a conservative elite that's mad after living in many many white neighborhoods for many many years. He you know declined. He he lowered himself to living in Harlem, where he is very disgusted with a state of people littering. It's also something that he should look into: the fact that there is less trash pickup in poorer neighborhoods. Poor neighborhoods also tending to be predominantly uh, black and brown. Right. I, I I suspect. The the relationship is um, cat not causal because it's just higher income neighborhoods have less trash and than lower income. It's Correct. Not that black people are <laughs> littering more than. Oh, white that's people, that's a woke talk there, Robbie. <laughs> it looks like
like maybe we should switch places with Don Lemon so they can get some progressivism on CNN. I would treat Caitlin <laughs> Collins and Poppy Harlow with the respect they deserve. I know, because I experience it every day. <laughs> Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you for vouching for me. More Rising right after this.